Hey, hello everybody, this is Quentin. I am doing a quick tour of Notice. Uh, so you always start by creating a template. Uh, to create a template, you can go on the bottom left here and you click um, on the blue button, new project, and you will have all the templates displayed. So for example, you create an FAQ and then you already have some pre-filled information. If you want to create a block, you just hit uh, slash and you can search. For example, I want to create a code block, I hit enter. I have my code block. Uh, if you want to create a page, um, you click on the plus button here. And for example, I will call this page new page and I go back to the parent and I can see my new page here that I can drag and drop and reorganize. Uh, when I'm done, I hit command saved. So it's also automatically saved uh, every five seconds and you can hit publish and you can visit your page. And as you can see, you already have a working project. But notice really is powerful when you use the integrations. So we have plenty of them for CMS, for frameworks, uh, but also as you just saw, you have a hosted version of your notice on the web. Um, let me show you some examples. So you can host notice in a full page like deep memory do. So they have a full documentation. Uh, uh, done with notice and as you can see they are also using the translation feature the search bar and all of that but you can also use notice um, as a lego of content and that's what for example verlen do verlen is a shopify shop uh, and you can see that this is their website and they have a small faq here made by notice um, and they are really using notice just for a small part of their uh, of their application uh, and last thing but not least, some people asked me how the translation works. So let's say we want to translate this page. The first thing you are going to see in each project is the default language selector. So let's say uh, this is English for the moment. So this is the language I am writing in, my team is writing in, and I want to translate, for example, um, in uh, French. So you can use the language selector here to select the language you want to translate to. And on the right part, this is the translated version. So in French, you would say uh, question fréquent. And it is also automatically saved. So if I switch, you can see it is saved. And because I just uh, finished the translation, I want the team to know, I want myself to know that this translation is done. So I mark this as complete. And as you can see, this is now a green dot. So I can move to the next block by clicking on next or just clicking on the, on the left part here. So you can choose. And you can start uh, translating the rest of your page. I'm not going to translate everything. Uh, I'm going to leave the translation here, publish again. I just want to show you that now I have a translation available. So the translation, um, the language selector just appeared on the top right and I can select French. And as you can see, my title just changed. If you want to configure all that, you go to customization. I'm not going to go through all the options, but you have a translation tab here and you can choose the language you want to display. Uh, you can choose if you want to display it and all of that. Oh, last thing, there was a question about the contact form. Um, so the contact form is uh, this little thing you see here on the top bar. Uh, this is configured here. So you go to customization, you go to the first tab called general, and you have a sub part called contact form where you can display it or not. As you can see, it just disappeared when I toggle that off. So let me toggle it back. And the email you enter here is the email you are going to receive your support message. Uh, so just that is very clear. Your user, for example, is called Johnny and Johnny is going to write you uh, um, his email address, the subject, I want help and the message, the, 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 the message. Uh, and when he, he hits send, uh, this is in French because I just switched in, uh, in French. Um, the message is sent to you, so to the, to the address you entered here. And your user is also receiving a confirmation uh, that he uh, or she contacted you. And that's it. Thanks everybody. Bye.